Thank you, Madam Chair. Chairwoman. I'd like to start out by saying, as far as my testimony goes today, I've been pretty silent when it comes to dealing with the press. And I know a lot of people like to, you know, put up press releases and do the back and forth thing. And, you know, I take this issue seriously. And I've been silent for a reason. And I'd like to take this opportunity because I owe it to my constituents and the people of this state to not to justify or make excuses for what I've done, but to at least explain it so they understand exactly what happened. And to do that, I'd like to start going back quite a ways, just real briefly saying, you know, I was in my late teens and early 20s when I first realized that I had a lot of problems with alcohol. And by the time I was 21, I decided, you know, it was something I didn't want to deal with anymore. And I quit drinking. And I had gone over a decade without drinking. And, you know, my life was much better then. And it wasn't until my early 30s when I first, for the first couple of years, started drinking on occasion, on special occasions, weddings, when a friend came in from out of town, maybe once or twice a year when my wife was able to drive me home. And really, it seemed fine. I kind of convinced myself that I was younger when my problems had occurred before and that I was more mature and I could handle it. And that seemed to be the case up until I was elected when I was 34 or 33. And at that time, you know, my first year in office, I didn't drink at all. By my second year, I started going out with a couple of colleagues of mine, basically on Tuesday nights when we were in Madison, go out and have a few beers. I was cautious about leaving my car on the parking ramp and only going to places where I could walk to my apartment from. And, again, it didn't really seem to be much of a problem. On occasion, I drank too much, but I drank rarely and it didn't seem to have much of an effect. But over the years, you know, that progressed and it got worse and worse. About almost two years ago, I decided after a lot of consideration to leave the Republican Party. And I had my personal reasons for it. I respect the members of the party. Philosophically, we just were not on the same page. And I don't think we ever really, really were. So I decided to leave the party and run as an independent. And I knew, you know, I was taking a pretty big fight at the time. But it's the decision I made. And that fall, as we went into the election, you know, anyone who's been in an election, and you all know this, they can get pretty nasty and a lot of money is spent. And I was used to that. You know, that wasn't a big issue. But I found myself really frustrated, you know, when I believe in excess of $150,000 was spent against me in mostly personal attacks. And I didn't have the resources to respond. And it was during that time that I started drinking pretty much daily. I'd go out and campaign all day. And that's when I first started drinking at home. Before that, I never drank at home. And things progressed extremely fast. And my wife was not happy about it at all. But, you know, I promised her at the time that, you know, as soon as the campaign's over, win or lose, I'm going to quit drinking. And so the campaign came to an end. And I stopped drinking for about five weeks. And then I came down to Madison one night. And a friend of mine were at a reception at a local hall nearby. And somebody offered me a beer, and I took it. And I drank and had quite a bit to drink that night and ended up at a Maduro cigar bar and met up with a lot of other people and ended up driving home for what reason, I have no idea. And got arrested, and you're well aware of the charges from December 8th. And I'm guilty of those charges. And I regret making the decisions I did. 
after that, you know, obviously the media really hit, and I, I don't even know if you guys can imagine what that's like, but it really sent me into a, a real deep depression. Um, for quite a while, I, for at least a month, I had, you know, just a hard time even just facing the day. And my wife convinced me that I needed to talk to my doctor. So I went in and I saw my doctor, and he prescribed me some antidepressants and asked me some questions and realized that I was also having anxiety attacks, and he prescribed me a, a drug called Alplazoram. And it was the first time I had ever taken anything like that. It's considered to be a mild drug. It's a benzodiazepine, similar to Valium. Um, and I started taking that for the anxiety. And it worked, like he said, like it was prescribed for. Um, but I noticed, you know, within a week that whenever I took those pills, um, it really impacted my memory. So I called the doctor and I told him about it. And uh, he reduced my dosage down to the absolute minimum dosage. And I tried that and the same impact. It just affected my memory negatively. So I went off. And after a couple of months, um, talking to my doctor again, he suggested I, I see a specialist. And I went and saw another doctor, Dr. Peck, um, out of Luther Hospital, and he suggested I try something else, a drug called lorazepam. Um, and during this time, you know, I was sober as far as I, I didn't drink alcohol um, during that entire winter while we were in session. And the doctor prescribed me uh, a bottle of lorazepam with one refill. And he thought it would affect me a little different than the, than the first drug. And I took it for a few days and noticed it had the same effect. And I called him up. Um, well, first, I noticed it had the same effect and decided I, I shouldn't take it. But that's when I kind of found myself wanting to take it anyways. So I called him up, and I knew it was an addictive drug, so I told him, you know, this isn't working. And I asked him to cancel the prescription. And I called Walgreens and canceled the prescription. And I went back on my own, just dealing with... Um, trying to stay sober on my own. And that was okay until when we finished the budget in June. Um, I had gone out with some friends after after session was out for the year and went, went out and drank again. I don't really know why. I don't, if you know any alcoholics, I, I think they...